I play a lady from the Preservation Society. She's come to check out the ship to see if it can become a landmark. But she ends up staying a little too long for her liking. And along the way, she encounters this sort of self-appointed caretaker who is pretty eccentric. And uh, it doesn't go well. The script, when I first read it, I uh, at first went, huh? Oh, OK, I get it. This is great. I was sent the script and I read it and I immediately thought it was a very specific tone. It had comedy in it, yet there was a thriller, dark, kind of haunted aspect to it. And I thought immediately that there's only one person that could direct this and that would be the writer. You know, actually, there is something. Come on, check this out. You don't have to play the comedy. It's already there. You can just sort of create an undertone and, and let it carry itself. That's fun. <laughs> I like that. Renee's got a lot of comic timing. She's a very physical actor and she's a good sport. <laughs> the shower scene is, uh, she should probably get hazard pay for that, but that, don't tell her that. <laughs> the, the character right away spoke to me. He's so excited to have Paula on board this ship. He's got another problem that he's dealing with the ship, and that's a big secret of his, and not one I'm willing to divulge. Usually I'm, uh, hey, buddy, and do a couple fall downs and show my belly, and, uh, and, and that's about it. And this guy is so deep and, and a little dark, and there are a lot of layers to him. One moment he is laughing, and the next second he's regressed into a horrible memory, and he's scared. Because the ship is a character, I went with these really wide, long, slow dolly shots. Certainly, we all work very hard, and it's about getting the job done. But at the end of the day, it's about having a good experience about that job. Each one of my department heads that I've worked with for years, their deal memo on this job is, OK, they might be you know, key grip slash mentor, sound mixer slash mentor, gaffer slash mentor, script supervisor slash mentor, et cetera, et cetera. What's happening then is each one of these interns can really go to one person in particular and after this shoot, we'll have a really pretty good feel for what that department does. Plus, they've been able to see the whole system work. If I'm learning things, that, just new techniques on how to rig lights and, and uh, set up the filters. I actually harassed him a little bit before he called me up and, and asked me, you know, do you still want a job? One of the things we enjoy about small independent filmmaking is that everybody has a chance at some point or another to help the other department or the other person out. And it not only expands your skill set, but it also helps you to understand what else is going on in the filmmaking process and gives you, a, a, we feel, a, a better appreciation as a whole for what's, what's involved. You know, I really appreciate the spirit of independent filmmaking in, in uh, Michigan. And I think it comes together pretty well when we get a chance to work on something like this. But we like helping other filmmakers too, people with ideas and passion. We all need to stick together on this. I love collaborations like what Rich has pulled together because everyone's here because they want to be here. They love the passion of storytelling. It's a good group of people, and that's why I do this. I love it. I can't wait to see this film.